Hi, I'm uh, Chris Thompson here for Investor Intel, and today I'm speaking with Justin Cochran, who is the president and CEO of Carbon Streaming Corporation, uh, NetZ, on the NEO, as well as trading on the OTC in Frankfurt. How are you doing today, Justin? Very good, Chris. Thanks for having me again. So carbon streaming in the news with the world catching on fire and everyone concerned about global warming. How do investors make money off of carbon streaming with your company? Oh, thanks. Thanks, Chris. So uh, carbon, uh, as you as you said, um, the world is on fire. And what we've seen with carbon prices is is increasing carbon prices quite significantly in the past couple of months. And, and there is a renewed interest in COVID, the world on fire uh, and this, this, this globalization we've seen around the world, a renewed interest in carbon and fighting climate change. And that's the reason we put carbon streaming together. And so how, what do you do? I mean, you've, you've had a really busy summer. You've raised a lot of money. You made some investments. So what is your primary business model? So we set up carbon streaming to do exactly that, access and leverage the capital markets to help fight climate change at its simplest form. And the way we do that is invest directly into carbon projects around the world that are either re removing carbon from the atmosphere or avoiding the emission of carbon from in, into the atmosphere. And uh, we give them the capital in exchange for the carbon credits that they're generating on those projects. And, and what sort of uh, pricing is, is a carbon right now in the marketplace? So in, it depends on the country. In Canada, we have a $40 per ton uh, carbon tax that's going up to $170 per ton by 2030. Uh, many of our credits are sold into a voluntary buyer, a corporate buyer, and, and most of those credits are going for around $8 to $10 a credit today. And so how do you do your business model then when you're uh, investing in these projects? So we use today's carbon price. So in that voluntary market that I talked about, an $8 to $10 carbon price, we target a 15% IRR, which is roughly a six to seven year payback on our investment, and then have a revenue sharing model so that we have perfect leverage to increasing carbon prices as these projects are developed. And most projects are 20, 30, 40 year projects. And from a revenue stream, is this a, is this a one time payment or do you get this stream over year over year? So it's a one it's a one time payment upfront payment uh, investment into the project. Yep. We then get the stream of carbon credits for the next 20, 30, 40 years, share, you know, let's call it 80 percent of our revenue back to the project developer. We get to keep 20 percent of that carbon credit revenue for the next 20, 30, 40 years. That's how we uh, earn a return on our investment. And that's where we 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 calculate uh, that base IRR of 15% looking to go much north of that with higher carbon prices. Interesting. And I've seen from your news releases, you've raised a lot of money this summer. Uh, how much money did you raise and, and what was the interest in the market in total? Yeah, we just completed our last financing of 105 million in July. Um, interest for that offering, which was mostly from retail investors around the world. We had 78 we had participants from 78 different countries to give you a sense and demand was over $400 million in size. So tremendous demand. And we, we are taking the company to a U.S. listing and listing it in, in on the NASDAQ or the, or the NYSE, hopefully in the next six months. Um, and that'll be a big event for the, for the company as we do have a lot of U.S. shareholders. And you just closed a recent project and investment in a company. Can you just talk a little bit about that one? So we just made a $45 million investment into the Rimbaraya project and partnered with Infinite Earth, who's their project developer. Rimbaraya is one of the most exciting carbon projects on the planet, been around for 10 years, produces three and a half million carbon credits on an annual basis. And Infinite Earth, who's a project developer, has a plan of developing a dozen or more mangrove conservation projects in North and South America. So we partnered with Infinite Earth. They've come on as big shareholders of, of carbon streaming um, and also now have entered into the streaming agreement with Rimbaraya, which we just uh, think is, is again, one of the, the, the best projects in the world. It's one of the only projects in the world that meets all 17 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. Uh, and uh, it's just a it's a it's, it's a testament to the, the types of projects and activities that they've been able to do at Rimbaraya and how they've been able to improve the community around the project. Now, for investors themselves, is this model scalable? So do you propose to raise additional capital, invest in additional projects moving forward? So what is your sort of your three to five year goal for the company? 
Yeah, we uh, in the next three years, we plan to have over 50 million carbon credits uh, that carbon carbon streaming is buying on an annual basis. This we've got a pipeline today of uh, of over 600 million dollars in opportunities, wow. uh, 200 million of which we consider to be near term opportunities. Um, this is we've received just incredible uh, incredible response from project developers around the world who just haven't seen this type of financing model for carbon uh, before. And I'm um, very excited about what the next six months have in store for the company as we execute on many of those near-term investment opportunities. Well, that's great. Uh, I think that, uh, you know, in, in the current investment in environment uh, with ESG being very popular, uh, I can see why you have such, such good interest. So for shareholders over the next, say, 12 months, what can they look forward to uh, from a way of increasing shareholder value? Uh, great question, Chris. So, so execution on the investment pipeline. So even before the end of the year, I'd hope that we'd have a handful of new investments um, under our belt. We are going to list, as I mentioned, in the U.S. So that's going to be a big milestone event for the company. And we continue to build out um, our management team and most importantly, get the first delivery of carbon credits, uh, which is going to start generating material revenue and cash flow for, for the company. Well, thanks for your time today, Justin, and uh, I look forward to following uh, your company's progress and uh, in this uh, very exciting uh, new vehicle for investors looking to invest in the ESG space. So uh, thanks for your time and have a great day. It's Chris Thompson for Investor Intel. That's great. Thank you, Chris.